Good day, folks. Let's play quickly. Yep, we're back onto this, and what game do I have for your perusal and enjoyment? Well, none other than Ban Presto. No, no. Um, unfortunately, I'm probably not going to impress you all with this game. Long ago and far away, a legendary interdimensional being known as Zordon came to the city of Angel Grove to establish a vanguard of a never-ending struggle against evil. With the aid of his trusted assistant, Alpha-5, the noble master sought out six extraordinary teenagers and gave them the power to transform into a superhuman fighting force. In time of great need, the young heroes could call upon colossal assault vehicles known as Zords, while the identity of the six remained a guarded secret, the courageous exploit soon became a stuff of legend, earning them the title Cheap Knockoff Spandex Rangers! No. The Mighty Morphing! Power Rangers. The movie. Yep, for the Sega Mega Drive. And no, he only saw five teenagers with attitude, if I remember. I've never seen the show, but I do remember the Spoony Ones experiment. Right, let's do it on hard, shall we? I've had someone saying I do it on too easy a setting. Let's do it on hard. 6,000 years ago, a mythological being known as Ivan Ooze ruled the world with a reign of unparalleled terror. He rid the entire planet of their adult population, then brainwashed the young to follow in his evil path. But surely they become adult later. A faction of young warriors known as the Order of Millennium lured him to a hyperlock chamber and burned him deep underground. But in Angel Grove, they actually uncovered the shape. What? What? No wonder the movie was terrible. This plot sucks. Stage one. I'm only gonna be one person, so don't worry. The only person worth playing, of course, the one that's blooming cool and has his own Zord. This is a beat em up. In the Mega Drive version, those people do not stand there. Oh, stop it. Do 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 do. You'll be pressing B most of this game. I ain't kidding. B is the main attack. Oh wait, that does get used for something. It's used for jump. Oh, what am I doing? Get off. These are ooze men. Are they the basic enemy of the game? Well, yes. They're also one of the only enemies in the game. I'm not kidding. Outside of these and Putty Patrol, they are probably 95% of all the monsters you fight in this game. Do, 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 do. And this game ain't exactly hard. Although I am running out of time. Do, do, do. Oh, get off me. Ow! Start, when you run out of time, you start running out of health. That's some life. Really useful for me. Ah, more time. Run away! Yep, we're almost at the end of the level, folks. You get sick of these putty things. But yeah. Power Rangers sort of passed me by. I never got into it, I never got into that, I never got into the VR Troopers, I never got into the Beetle Borgs, and yes, I know who the Beetle Borgs are. That's quite scary. But I never got into any of it, and I never actually watched a full episode of Power Rangers. But, from what I can see here, I wasn't missing much. I own both Power Ranger games for the Big Drive. Both the uh, standard Mortal Kombat style to beat them up, that I might play one day, and this one, which is a poor man's Street of Rage. Yep, by doing it here, it means it can never be done with Necroscope. If you really want me a Necroscope to play it, I'm sure we can allow it, but I don't really want to do that. Oh, by the way, level over. 
And Ivan Ooze appears and does this. Yeah, we get pwned by Ooze Man. Well, that's the end of a level. Most levels are like that. With the exception of one of the levels which is really annoying. This is... Yep, okay. Once released from the chamber, Ivan wastes no time and attacks the command center, damaging Zordon and Alpha Vibe. Who, who are these people? With Zordon down, the Power Rangers lose their powers. Alpha tells them of a power that will help save Zordon. Without hesitation, Alpha sends the Power Rangers to the planet Phidos to find someone who will help them gain the power they need. What? Meanwhile, Ivan has gained mind control with the adults of Angel Grove and taken out Lord Zed and Rita. I presume they're bad guys in the Power Rangers? To landing on Phidos, the Power Rangers run into Dulcer, the Master Warrior, who saves them from the Tengu tribe, and guides them to the Neola jungle where they will find the power they're looking for. She doesn't wear very much either. She wards them at the danger and sends them on their way. Okay. Before they go, Dulcia gives the Rangers the animal powers of Ninjetti to help them survive. The what? Continuing through the jungle in their new ninja uniforms, the Power Rangers encounter many different enemies, including the skeleton creatures and the stone gargoyles. They're skipping two thirds of the film! In the meantime, Ivan has used the adults of Angel Grove to help dig up two of his morphological monsters, the Scorpitron and the Hornetron. They're skipping two, three quarters of the film! Back on Phidos, defeating the Stone Gargoyles. The Power Rangers fight the Temple of Great Power. They're skipping 90% of the film. They discover how to gain the great power of the Temple. And let me guess, in this cutscene they gain it. Zorn contacts the Rangers and tells them about Ivan. Oh, they only just remember Ivan, do they? Their new power, the Rangers blast back to Earth. They really are skipping 90% of the film. They land in Angel Grove as Ivan's ectomorphicons are destroying the city. My god. I've seen the film, and they just skipped 90% of it. They went, hey, Ivan's here, to Ivan's about to take over the world. That's terrible. When we come back, folks, stage two.